Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 912. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have some data here, some numbers. Buyers, and these are their offers. The problem with this data set is that there's NAs and zeros, and they cannot be removed. We need them here, and we need to conditionally format the smallest value in the row. So here it would be 5. 0.26. Here it would be 7.46. Right? If we just use the straight min function and ask is anything in this row equal to the min, we could use a tr that would be a true false formula that would conditionally format it. But the NAs will cause the function to give us an NA, and the min will look at zeros. So there's really two conditions we have to consider before asking for the num for before asking the min function to look for the numbers. Is it not NA? And is it greater than 0? All right, I'm going to come down here. And we are going to build a logical formula. But let's just see if we can get the min. Right now, if we highlight this, right, it's going to give us NA. Even if there weren't any NAs, it would give us that. So we have two conditions before we can dump that range into the min. Now, this range ultimately is going to be up in the conditionally formatting dialog box. And as we copy this way, we need to be locked down on this row. But when we move it down, it needs to move to the next row. So I'm going to highlight this range and hit the F4. Three times lock the column, but not the row. All right, I'm going to copy that because there's a few conditions, or two conditions, before we can dump that into the min. And we'll use the if. Now there is an isNA function. And I'm going to Control V. And that right there will tell us this is an NA. But really, we're interested if it's not an NA. So is NA gives a true or false. The not function converts a false to true and a true to false. So not wrapped around is NA will give us is it not an NA error. Right? That's the logical test. We type a comma, the value of 2. Well, we, we don't want to put that yet. It's going to be that whole range because we have a second condition. So our second condition will be a second if. And I'm going to say Control V. That's the range anytime you are greater than 0. So there's a second logical test when you test. When you link the two ifs here together, it's an AND criteria. Both have to be true. If they're both true, then please give me those. We do not need the false. I close parentheses on the if, close parentheses on the min. And this is an array formula. This if right here and this one right here, we're giving it more than one true or false. We are required. That means we're doing an array operation, right? That argument's expecting a single one. We're giving it multiple ones, so it's an array operation. You have to enter this array formula by holding Control, Shift, and Enter. Now notice what this does is I copy it over. And down, it gives me the smallest value in each row. That's not what we want. We want a true only when uh, this, this cell up here, which we're building our true false formula down here, and we're going to copy and paste it up in the conditional formatting. But it's only here we want a true. All the other ones we want false. So with this range still highlighted and the active cell right there, I'm going to hit F2, and I'm going to ask, are you equal to relative cell reference B2? Now I can, actually, that won't work. I'm going to click Escape. It's an array formula, so I have to enter it in this cell, and then Control Shift Enter and copy it down and over. So I'm going to put this one, uh, B11, in Edit Mode and say, are you equal to uh, B2? Control F2, Control Shift Enter, and copy it over. And down. Now, this NA is still going to appear when there's an NA, but it won't affect the conditional formatting uh, formula. It gives us a true right there, exactly what we want, and a true right here, exactly what we want. I'm going to copy this, Control C, in Edit Mode, and I'm going to use this in the conditional formatting dialog box. So I highlight this whole range. Active cell, notice this range is the same size as that. I copied it from this cell, so that cell has to be the active cell. Alt-O-D for conditional formatting. New rule. Use formula. And guess what? This is an array formula. But when I paste it up here, it will work. Format 
and then whatever formatting you want font white fill red click OK click OK click OK alright so that looks like that's working pretty well right there now if you have 2010 let's look at another great option now actually I want to move this over just to be consistent with what I went did over there. We're going to build our formula here just as we did in that other example. Make our complicated formula after we see that it's working on the face of the spreadsheet. We'll copy and paste it up in conditional formatting. So there's a great new function called aggregate. Now, before we look at aggregate, let's think about what we just did a second ago. What do we do? We use the min function with two conditions, right? not is not an NA and greater than zero. Well, whoops, sorry. The aggregate will allow us to do something like the min function with two conditions, but it won't be it won't require control shift enter. And it'll actually be quite a bit easier than that construction we did with min and all those other functions. Now, there's um, 19 functions. 1 through 13 uh, are standard functions that do not allow arrays. But 14 to 19, these allow array operations, and it, you don't it, control shift enter isn't required. Now, it doesn't really matter here because the function we just the setup we just did and this one we pasted in the conditional formatting box and it's no problem but this uh, using the aggregate and um, the setup we're going to do is quite a bit easier than what we just did now here's the small now up here we have min and we can't use that because 1 through 13 do not allow array operations. So I'm going to select, I'm going to trick it in essence. I'm going to say small. Now small is usually used to get the second smallest, third smallest, but I'm going to trick it. I'm going to say, please give me aggregate, please do the small function, and then just tell it give me 1, which simulates the min. All right. So again, the reason we're using aggregate um, with small is because the min won't allow array operations. Now the second part of this, the second argument is options and we want ignore error values that's the part that's going to help us ignore that NA so I'm going to double click that comma and now we have to build our array the only uh, the second condition that we need to consider is greater than zero so I'm going to say uh, these values right here and I'm going to lock it F4 lock the column reference but not the row reference now right now it would give us all the values but I'm going to divide it by a condition and what's the condition highlight these lock the column anytime that's greater than zero close parentheses now this will give us a string of trues and falses F9 right the false will turn into a zero which will give us a divide by zero error right so if I go like this the whole thing F9. Now notice NA divided by 0, those are both errors, but that 6 will ignore them. And then boom, those values will be dumped into the 15, which is small. I'm going to control Z. And then we come over here and go comma 1. Again, we can't use the uh, min option for aggregate because it would not allow us to do this, which is our second condition. All right, so then we go control enter gotta be kidding me no control shift enter and that's quite a bit shorter to create than that other formula right and copy down but it only exists in 2010 or later now all we do is convert this since it's delivering the value we say are you equal to relative cell reference control enter now the NA is coming from this equal sign not from the aggregate but no problem as we saw just a moment ago the conditional formatting uh, dialog box will ignore that and boom there's our true <laughs> there's our true so I'm going to copy control C in edit mode highlight alt O D alt N arrow 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 tab control V and then format it however you want Click OK, click OK, and boom, that is totally amazing. So we have this just unbelievably useful. This has been out uh, you know, a couple years now, and I've 
certainly have found so many amazing uses for the aggregate. And if you don't have that, then boom, that one will work to conditionally format the smallest value in a row and ignore 0 or NA. Hey, we'll see you next video.